All right, the Jamico Value Pro GB165 push button rocker slide toggle and slide switch grab bag for 12 bucks. Amazon shipping. And here's what you get. Let's see what it is. Okay, so I usually buy the switch that I need or, uh, you know, for the specific project. Or I try to aggregate, you know, just junk switches or whatever you want to say over time from, by salvaging from other projects. Um, the kids want to create one of those, uh, like, model rocket launch pads. And I thought it would be cool if we had just a variety of different switches. So that's, you know, why I kind of went the grab bag route uh, to see what we get. Initially, too, I'll say I am impressed. They, uh, you know, all appear to be new switches, not salvaged. All the terminals are nice and clean um, and, you know, everything's straight. All the terminals are nice and straight. Nothing's breaking off. Looks like all the, you know, plastic pieces of it and that are all intact and clean. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, pretty decent. Okay, so 53 switches in total. Um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I mean, for 12 bucks, you're not going to beat that. I think if you are looking for a particular type of switch, um, or a specific form factor, I would say definitely do not buy this, you know, buy the exact switch you need. But if you have a project where you can just kind of pick up whatever you need, uh, it's probably not bad to have some of these around. Um, so just real quick, what did we get? We got some of these like limit switch pressure switch single throw um, this particular one is closed and then that actually opens it up then we've got a bunch of little little tiny double throw little pressure switches looks like six of those these I'm not particularly impressed with um, looks like double throw double pull I guess but one has a very discernible click on it. The other does not. I don't know. Bunch of toggle switches. Um, there was one interesting one. Well, a couple. Look at these little micro toggle switches. Those are kind of cool. Look how small that is. Three position. It's kind of cool. This one's three position, too. It's even smaller. Um, and then I thought these for a, like, rocket launch thing would be kind of cool just because it's got the big, like, lever on it, right? That'll look cool on one of those boxes. Dip switches. There was one that was actually neat. Yeah, so this guy here looks like it is a two-position switch with a momentary feature. So one position, put it in the middle, stays, but then it's also got a downward um, momentary feature, so... Haven't had a switch like that before. Look that one up. Um, then uh, some push button switches. These are like latch switches, so it holds the state wherever it's at. Um, two of those. Well, a bunch of dip switches, different, uh, you know, some small ones, some big ones up to 12. What do we got? On the back to the push button switches, you know, some, th these are just like momentary switches. Um, some smaller momentary switches, just two of them, push button, and then like a uh, lever momentary switch that bounces back to its position. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, and a bunch more lever switches. So those might be interesting for the project too. I think that one's illuminated it looks like, so that could be kind of cool. Whoa, and I just dropped it. And then uh, some rotary AC switches, which I probably have no use for, but it looks like uh, they put them in just about every bag, so be aware that you'll get those. Well, it's got, it's got nine contacts, six positions. All right, to wrap it up, you get a bunch of different toggle switches, uh, some push button switches, a couple dip switches, maybe a couple rotary switches. Just be aware that a fair number of them are like panel panel mount. Um, other than that, it's a pretty good deal. Good luck with your projects, and thanks a lot.